This is video number one, uh, Mac apps. I'll be taking you through my Mac, showing you my personal Mac applications that I use, my personal preferences, and all these applications you should be able to go onto Google. Just Google in the application, it should show you where to download it at. Um, if it's harder than that, then I will show you how to get it. The first one is going to be 3D Image Commander. It's not the coolest app. It's, it's, it's kind of neat though for editing photos. Put a photo of me in there. Up here on the top is the image size. You can change the size of the image. You can save your image, crop your image, and if you watch as I as I crop this one, it crops this one too. It helps you see how it's going to look. Hit escape when you're done, and as you see, it didn't make it smaller, but it's the same size. You can add text if you want. Click on the little eye, you can change the, the fonts and stuff, and the lines, and the colors. This one right here lets you change the color of the text. Make it blue. This one right here lets you get the text. I clicked on it. Hit backspace. I'll type in. This is Umanian 33. There's my text. Around blue. Um, you can add images to your text. Crop them as well. Put a D in there for a D mania. I got a D up there. D for Damien. Load up images. And scale it, make it bigger. So you can put your own personal logo on the picture and fit it. 1.11 ratio. Different samples down here. You can add stuff to your picture if you want. Okay, when you're done, you change the background back here. Um, it's in black. You just change it to white for color. You can click on this third one up here. Change it to red. Click OK. This is the box I really like is the 3D transformation. You can rotate it. You can curve it. In or out, and scale it, upscale, pinch it together. As you can see, it kind of makes your image in 3D. Um, show stroke is out of the outline. See how it's white right now? I can change the color, maybe pink. Oh yeah, can do like. That color is. Or you can make it wider. Bam! It's thick now. Um, right here are the borders, the corners right here. As you can see, the corners are X'd. Each one that is X'd will be which corners are changed. You can change them all. Change it to look like that. And I'll change the radius so it's bigger so you can see. They're all rounded off. I can choose not to round off the bottom right one. Or we can make them all like that. Like that, and you can just customize it, do it however you want, and then you can put in your video, whether you're using iMovie or ScreenFlow, whatever you're using to edit your videos. Um, shadow, not too sure about this one. I don't really see a shadow in there anyway. Down here, we do have the reflection, you can make the length long, so all the way down there, it kind of fades away at the end, it's pretty cool. Change the opacity. 
makes it uh, how much you can see it. The offset is right this line right here, like this is the ground that it's sitting on, the cable it's sitting on. You can make it closer into the picture or further away from the picture, as you can see here. Make it further away, maybe closer in there. Hold down shift and then I'm left clicking and you can just move your picture around any way you want. You can do it upside down like that. However you want, it's pretty cool. You can rotate it. Ooh, go crazy. You get real you can get pretty creative here. If anybody knows any other applications like this where you can edit your photos like this and do cool tricks, uh, post a video response. We have a uh, Mac OS X Snow Leopard. You can use QuickTime Player X. I have another video that shows you how to use QuickTime X to make uh, tutorials. Just click file and then screen recording and then click up here when you're done recording. Post a video response, let me know. Uh, comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of the video, what I could do to make it better. Um, you can also add pictures here and just do a whole bunch of them. And yeah, that is a 3D Image Commander. It's a application that I use. I can clear my image, add an image. It's what I use to edit some videos, what I'm going to use, edit my pictures and stuff so I can put them in my videos. Thanks for watching. And here's a link I'll post up so you can watch the second video. And the second one is going to be on App Cleaner, which is a Mac application that lets you delete your applications and all the extra downloaded stuff that came with it. Thanks for watching.